The origins of the Lilith legend can be traced back to ancient Mesopotamia, the cradle of civilization, where she first appeared in Sumerian mythology. Sumerian texts dating back to the third millennium BC describe Lilith as a winged demon or spirit associated with storms, wind, and fertility. She is often depicted as a malevolent force, bringing chaos and destruction in her wake. One of the earliest known references to Lilith is in the Sumerian poem Gilgamesh and the Hulupu tree, where she is described as a demon who lives in a tree with other malevolent spirits. In this myth, the goddess Inanna, Ishtar, enlists the help of the hero Gilgamesh to rid the tree of these demons, symbolizing the struggle against chaos and disorder. For Lilith in Jewish folklore, her portrayal in the Babylonian Talmud and Midrashic literature, Lilith's prominence in Jewish folklore began with her appearance in the Babylonian Talmud, a central text of Rabbinic Judaism compiled in the 3rd to 5th centuries BC. In Jewish tradition, Lilith is portrayed as Adam's first wife, created from the same earth as him, as opposed to Eve, who was created from Adam's rib. According to Talmudic and Midrashic sources, Lilith's refusal to submit to Adam's authority led to her expulsion from the Garden of Eden. This rebellion against patriarchal domination established Lilith as a symbol of female autonomy and defiance, in contrast to the submissive image of Eve. In later Jewish folklore, Lilith became a malevolent figure associated with childbirth complications, infant mortality, and nocturnal seduction. She was believed to prey on pregnant women and newborn babies, posing a threat to maternal and infant health. T evolution of the legend. How Lilith's character has changed over time. Over the centuries, Lilith's character underwent significant transformations as her legend spread across cultures and religious traditions. From her origins as a Mesopotamian demon of storms and fertility to her portrayal as Adam's rebellious first wife, in Jewish folklore, Lilith's story has evolved to reflect changing social attitudes towards gender, sexuality, and power. In medieval Europe, Lilith became a prominent figure in Christian demonology, where she was often portrayed as a succubus or vampiric demon who seduced men and exploited their sexual desires. This demonization of Lilith served to reinforce patriarchal norms and demonize female sexuality. In modern times, Lilith has been reclaimed as a symbol of feminist empowerment and autonomy, inspiring reinterpretations in literature, art, and popular culture. She has become a powerful symbol of resistance to oppressive power structures and a reminder of the ongoing struggle for gender equality. In summary, the legend of Lilith has its roots in ancient Mesopotamian mythology and has evolved over millennia adapting to changing cultural contexts and interpretations. From her origins as a winged demon of chaos to her portrayal as a rebellious figure challenging patriarchal authority, Lilith's story continues to resonate with audiences as a symbol of defiance, independence, and female power. For Lilith, as Adam's first wife, contrasting narratives with Eve, in certain strands of Jewish folklore, Lilith is portrayed as Adam's first wife, created from the same earth as him, unlike Eve, who was formed from Adam's rib. This narrative presents Lilith as Adam's equal, symbolizing the potential for egalitarian relationships between men and women. However, Lilith's equality with Adam is short-lived as their relationship quickly deteriorates due to Lilith's refusal to submit to Adam's authority. This rebellion against patriarchal dominance sets the stage for Lilith's subsequent banishment from Eden and her transformation into a figure of defiance and independence. In contrast, the biblical narrative in the book of Genesis portrays Eve as Adam's second wife, created from his rib to be his companion and helper. This portrayal reinforces traditional gender roles and presents Eve as subservient to Adam in contrast, Aletha's assertion to Adam. In contrast, Aletha's assertiveness and autonomy. Trebellion and exile. Lilith's refusal to submit and her subsequent banishment from Eden. According to Jewish folklore, 
Lilith's rebellion against Adam's authority stems from her refusal to submit to him. She resents being expected to submit to Adam during sexual intercourse and demands equality and autonomy in their relationship. When Adam insists on maintaining his dominance over her, Lilith chooses to leave Eden rather than submit to his will. She utters the secret name of God and flies away from the garden, symbolizing her rejection of patriarchal control and her quest for independence. Lilith's expulsion from Eden marks the beginning of her transformation into a figure of darkness and rebellion. She becomes associated with the wilderness and the night, roaming the earth as a free spirit, defying attempts to subdue her. To Lilith's transformation into a demon, her association with malevolent spirits and nocturnal seduction. As Lilith's legend developed, she became increasingly associated with malevolent spirits and nocturnal seduction. In Jewish folklore, Lilith is believed to prey on pregnant women and newborn babies, posing a threat to maternal and infant health. Lilith's association with demons and nocturnal seduction reflects fears and anxieties about female sexuality and reproductive power. She is often depicted as a succubus or vampiric demon who seduces men in their sleep, draining their life force and leaving them weakened or dead. Over time, Lilith's image as the demoness of the night became entrenched in Christian demonology, where she was portrayed as a temptress and seductress, and seductress who lured men to their downfall. This demonization of Lilith served to reinforce patriarchal norms and demonize female sexuality and autonomy. In conclusion, the mythology of Lilith embraces themes of rebellion, independence, and the eternal struggle against patriarchal domination. From her role as Adam's first wife to her transformation into a demonic figure of darkness and seduction, the story of Lilith continues to capture the imagination and challenge traditional notions of gender and power. 3. Cultural Representations of Lilith's to Religious Interpretations Lilith's absence from the canonical Bible and her presence in apocryphal texts. Despite her absence from the canonical Bible, the legend of Lilith has persisted in various apocryphal and extra-biblical texts, where she is mentioned in passing or elaborated upon. These texts include ancient Jewish writings, such as the alphabet of Ben, Sirah, and the Zohar, as well as Christian texts such as the Testament of Solomon. In the Jewish mystical tradition, Lilith is often associated with the demonic realm and portrayed as a malevolent force opposed to human beings, especially women and newborn children. Her rebellious nature and defiance of patriarchal authority have made her a symbol of resistance and autonomy in feminist interpretations of religious texts. The legend of Lilith has been a source of inspiration for poets, novelists, and playwrights throughout history, from medieval Europe to the present day. In medieval Jewish folklore, Lilith appears as a central figure in mystical texts and legends, where she is portrayed as a seductive temptress and harbinger of doom. During the Romantic period, Lilith became a popular subject in literature with writers such as Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, George MacDonald and Christina Rossetti drawing on her legend in their works. In Goethe's Faust, Lilith is portrayed as a seductive and vengeful figure who leads Faust to his downfall, while MacDonald's Lilith explores themes of redemption and spiritual awakening. In modern literature, Lilith continues to be a recurring motif in fantasy, horror, and speculative fiction where she is often portrayed as a powerful supernatural being with ties to ancient mythology and folklore. Authors such as Neil Gaiman, Anne Rice, and Terry Pratchett have incorporated Lilith into their work, offering new interpretations of her character and significance. The image of Lilith has been immortalized in various forms of visual art, including painting, sculpture, and contemporary art. In medieval European art, Lilith is often depicted as a demonic figure with bat-like wings, clawed feet and serpentine features, 
emphasizing her association with darkness and evil. During the Renaissance and Baroque periods, Lilith appeared in religious paintings and sculptures, where she was portrayed as a temptress and seductress, tempting men to sin. Artists such as Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, and Peter Paul Rubens depicted Lilith in various allegorical and mythological contexts, exploring themes of sin, temptation, and redemption. In contemporary art, Lilith continues to inspire artists working in a variety of media, from painting and sculpture to digital art and installation. Artists such as Kiki Smith, Paula Rigo, and Patricia Piccinini have reimagined the image of Lilith, offering new perspectives on her character and significance in the modern world. Cultural representations of Lilith span centuries and continents, reflecting changing attitudes to gender, sexuality, and power. From her origins in ancient mythology to her portrayal in literature, art, and popular culture, Lilith continues to capture the imagination and challenge conventional notions of femininity and female autonomy. 4. Psychological and Feminist Interpretations In feminist theology and psychology, Lilith has emerged as a symbol of female power, autonomy, and resistance to patriarchal oppression. Her portrayal as Adam's first wife, refusing to submit to his authority, resonates with feminist ideals of gender equality and self-determination. Feminist theologians and scholars have re-examined Lilith's story through a feminist lens, interpreting her rebellion against Adam as a metaphor for women's struggle for autonomy and liberation. Lilith's refusal to submit to Adam's dominance challenges traditional notions of gender roles and highlights the importance of women's voices and agency in religious and spiritual narratives. In psychology, Lilith has been invoked as a symbol of the feminine shadow, representing repressed aspects of the psyche that are often marginalized or repressed. Jungian psychologists see Lilith as an archetype of the anima, the feminine aspect of the male psyche, and explore her role in individuation and self-discovery. In recent years, there has been a growing movement to reclaim Lilith as a positive archetype of feminine strength and resilience. Feminist scholars and artists have sought to reinterpret her character in a more empowering light, emphasizing her qualities of independence, assertiveness and defiance against oppressive power structures. Efforts to reclaim Lilith often focus on retelling her story from her perspective, giving voice to her experiences and struggles as a woman confronting patriarchal authority. By reclaiming Lilith as a symbol of female empowerment, advocates seek to challenge negative stereotypes and reclaim agency over women's narratives and identities. Outjungian Analysis Lilith's role as a shadow figure representing repressed aspects of the psyche in Jungian psychology, Lilith is often interpreted as a shadow figure representing repressed aspects of the psyche that have been denied or rejected. The Lilith archetype embodies qualities such as wildness, sexuality, and independence, which may be perceived as threatening or taboo in patriarchal societies. Jungian analysts explore the role of Lilith in individuation and psychological integration encouraging individuals to confront and embrace their inner Lilith as part of the process of self-discovery and wholeness. By acknowledging and integrating the Lilith archetype, individuals can reclaim lost aspects of themselves and achieve greater psychological balance and authenticity. In conclusion, psychological and feminist interpretations of Lilith offer new perspectives on her character and significance, emphasizing her role as a symbol of feminine power, autonomy, and resilience. Whether viewed through the lens of feminist theology, psychology, or Jungian analysis, Lilith continues to inspire reflection and exploration and exploration of the complexities of gender, identity, and empowerment. 5. Contemporary Relevance and Impact Tholi Lilith in Popular Culture Her Representation in Film, Television, and Music in contemporary popular culture, the legend of Lilith 
continues to captivate audiences in a variety of media, including film, television, and music. Her portrayal often draws on elements of her mythological background, incorporating themes of rebellion, seduction, and female power. Film and Television Lilith has appeared in numerous films and television series, often as a supernatural or demonic character with ties to ancient mythology. Examples include Supernatural, where Lilith is portrayed as a powerful demon, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, where she appears as a recurring antagonist, and The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, where she is portrayed as a dark and seductive figure. Music Lilith's legend has also influenced musicians and bands, inspiring songs and albums that explore themes of female empowerment and rebellion. Artists such as Florence the Machine, Hosea and Sarah McLachlan have referenced Lilith in their music, drawing on her mythology to create evocative and powerful compositions. Lilith's story has resonated deeply with feminist movements around the world, where she is celebrated as a symbol of female strength, autonomy and resistance to patriarchal oppression. Her portrayal as a defiant figure who refuses to submit to male authority resonates with feminist ideals of gender equality and empowerment. In contemporary feminist discourse and activism, Lilith's legacy serves as a reminder of the ongoing struggle for women's rights and autonomy. Her story inspires women to challenge societal norms and expectations and to reclaim their voices and agency in the face of systemic oppression. Conclusion The Legend of Lilith is a timeless tale that resonates across cultures and generations, captivating audiences with its themes of rebellion, independence, and female power. From its origins in ancient mythology to its contemporary relevance in feminist discourse, Lilith embodies a complex and multifaceted symbol that continues to fascinate and provoke thought. Throughout history, Lilith has been portrayed as a figure of defiance, challenging patriarchal norms and asserting her autonomy in the face of oppression. Her refusal to submit to male authority and her quest for liberation inspire admiration and reflection, making her a compelling and relatable character for audiences around the world. As we conclude our exploration of Lilith, let us reflect on the enduring appeal of her legend and the profound impact she has had on our collective imagination. From ancient times to the present, Lilith's story continues to spark dialogue, inspire creativity, and provoke reflection on the complexities of gender, power, and identity. In an ever-changing world, Lilith's legacy serves as a reminder of the ongoing struggle for equality and liberation, offering hope and inspiration to those who dare to challenge the status quo and embrace their true selves. As we move forward, may we continue to draw strength and wisdom from the legend of Lilith, finding strength in her story and courage in her example.